what's going on everybody class president anthony velas is here um just to kick things off i just like to remind you guys that december 18th is the last week of the quarter that's on friday so get in any later missing assignments in asap because this is a short quarter you know what i'm saying so um you might not be able to earn the full you know 2.5 credits and this is pretty valuable because next semester you know if y'all didn't do so hot that's gonna be hard you know what i'm saying so just pick up now so next semester you can start all fresh all good everything and you know you got some good look you know yeah, to look back at so you know to continue these little videos i would just like to tell y'all that jack emery food drive will also end on the 18th on f the next friday next friday um donations can be packaged foods or cash our primary goal is 400 cans and that will basically get us a productive period in each class and Mr. Stice will get pied. Um, but 750, if we reach 750 cans, we can also get productive periods in our classes. And Mr. Stice, some staff, and ASB officers will get pied as well, um, including me and Michael, you know? So come on, everybody wants to see that. All right, one more thing before I let you guys go. For food donations, please leave that in the box outside of the Cal Hills office. Cash donations is also available. You can use that with the link below. Every dollar equals a can. Please write donation is on behalf of Cal Hills and email the receipt to Miss Mendoza. We really got to reach this goal. Um, and yeah, I really think it's able, you know, we're able to do that. And it's the extra productive periods. That helps a lot. If everybody, you know, anybody can just, you know, $2, that's a lot. Just, you know, in our school, if everybody was to donate $2. Hi, everyone. As Anthony mentioned, next week is the last week of the Jack Emery Food Drive. It's also our Winter Spirit Week. You can participate by doing the activities or dressing up. Don't forget to take a picture and tag us on Instagram at CHHS Mustangs and hashtag CHHS Winter 2020. Or you can email the pictures to me at rmendoza at musd.org. On Monday, December 14th is our birthday day. Dress up like you would if it were your birthday and take a picture. It's also Sharing Monday. Help us promote our last week of the Jack Emery Food Drive by sharing the flyer that's in your Google Classroom with someone. On Tuesday, December 15th is our Spreading Some Cheer Day. Fill out the form in your Google Classrooms to write a card to someone in our district. It could be teachers, staff, friends, siblings, and then our yearbook and leadership class will get those messages sent out next week. Join us at lunch on December 15th for our Kahoot game. You can earn five raffle entries for attending and 10 if you win. On Wednesday, December 16th is our snow day. Wear white or snow gear like beanie, jacket, scarf, or whatever, and take a picture. Our activity for Wednesday is our Donate Some Dollars Day. Help us with the Jack Emery food drive by donating some dollars or messaging someone to see if they can help us uh, reach our goal by donating for us. On Thursday, December 17th is our wrap up day. Wear a scarf or a beanie or wrap yourself in some wrapping paper and take a picture. Get creative and have fun. Um, our activity for Thursday the 17th is the be a chef. Cook a meal and take a picture of it. On Friday, December 18th is our candy cane stripe day. Wear clothing with stripes on it and take a picture. And then our activity on Friday the 18th is our holiday movie after school. Join us to watch a movie together on Zoom before we head out to our winter break. Remember, each time you participate in a theme day or an activity, you'll be entered into a raffle to win gift cards or Cal Hills gear. Have a great day. Hey, seniors, it's FAFSA time. So today, Wednesday, December 9th at 11 a.m., Mr. Payne, Ms. Benson, and a representative from Evergreen Community College will be there to help you fill out your FAFSA application. You're going to need a couple of things if you're coming to the workshop. For the FAFSA application, you need a social security number, parents' information, like social security number, date of birth, and taxes for 2019. For the Dream, App, Dream Act application, you're going to need your parents' info, like date of birth and taxes for 2019. For students that worked and filed taxes, please bring your taxes for 2019. Hey y'all, it's Raven. Haven't seen y'all in a quick minute. If y'all don't remember who I am, let me give you a quick refresher. I'm a senior at Cal Hills and I'm one of the video announcers. Let me tell you what you gotta know. 
last part of my job is to remind you guys about birthday pictures. If your birthday happened anywhere from July to December, make sure you send in a video, preferably landscape, so we can put it in and celebrate your day of birth. <laughs> now let's take a moment and learn about Laurel. Hi, my name is Laurel Van Devere. Miss Laurel, you can call me. Um, I'm the Cassie therapist at Cal Hills, so I provide mental health counseling services for high school students. Um, I'm excited to work at Cal Hills because I really like the community feel of the school. Um, I know a lot of the teachers are very close and I really like that it feels like a family. Um, I wanted to work with students because I really like your um, age range. I like working with teenagers. Um, I think that you guys are very open to new ideas, and um, I like that you share things with me in session. Um, a fun fact about me is that I studied abroad in Rome when I was in college, and it was the best time of my life. It was the best food I've ever had in my life, um, and yeah, it was great. <laughs>